we have here. Over on this side, you got the Patriarch people, and over there, you got the Westboro Baptist Church. I absolutely hate those people. Oh, that gives me the chills just looking at them, actually. Because you hear so much about them on the news, on their website, everywhere. Uh, the Westboro Baptist Church goes to the soldiers' funerals and protests saying, thank God for dead soldiers or God hates fags and how the whole U.S. United States is doomed for allowing gays into the military and basically but the strongest message that kind of really sucks to hear is how they say thank God for dead soldiers now that that's just a little too much if you ask me a piece of wood in the corner but actually seeing those people in real life kind of it, it sucks because well, here's the backstory. Right now, there's a funeral procession going on for a local soldier who died in across seas. I believe his name is Todd Weaver. He, I think, is just was just a few years older than me. I believe he went to high school, the same high school I did, and he went across, you know, to fight for our country, to, to defend our country, and he lost his life. And because he's in the military, you got these Westboro Baptist Church people coming to protest his funeral, this own one guy's personal funeral, because of what they think is wrong about the U.S. military. Now, the reason they are protesting is because he is a soldier, and he's and the Westboro Baptist Church people are saying, you know, God killed him to show that, you know, fags or anyone should not be allowed in the military. They say fags. I think that's a kind of a negative connotation about it. But just because they have something against the United States, they still have to go pick picket this one guy's funeral. I just think that's completely low and completely disrespectful in my half. But as you can see, there is police out there. On one side of the road, there was the Westboro Baptist cult over there, picketing with their signs. And on the other side, you have everyone with their, um, their state flags and everything. Not state flags, I apologize. The United States flag. And it's just ridiculous. Okay, here's, here's what I think about this whole topic. Now, it's kind of a sticky situation, because it kind of, it, basically dips into religion. I myself don't really take part in religion and I have nothing against religion personally. It's when someone tries to force their beliefs onto you is when it really gets irritating. I mean who's to say who's right or wrong? Now you may have your own you know situation or side to believe like hey this guy is you know I'm right or he's wrong kind of thing but really it's all about what you believe what you personally believe and for these Westboro Baptist Church people they believe they are right I mean I have no I like I have no problem with them you know believing a certain whatever but if they go as far as thinking that they're ultimately correct completely shutting down all other beliefs just because they think you know theirs is the one theirs is superior theirs is right that they have to go and force their beliefs and force them onto other people basically if they were to you know keep to themselves believe what they are whatever and accept that other people believe in something different then that I, have, I would have a complete respect for them but it, it, it comes to the fact when, you know, they 
basically go out to these personal people's funerals and inflict basically sorrow, pain, frustration. When they inflict these emotions onto other people, then it's a completely different ballpark. It's no longer about what you believe. It's now about hurting other people because you think you're right. You're forcing your judgments onto other people. Now, they're the people that are, you know, trying to defend themselves, I guess. But if you think about it, they're the ones who are starting everything. They're the ones who, they go to the funerals or whatever and they pick it. And they're the ones that are initiating these frustrations. Now they could say, oh, but they have, you know, so many people against the Westboro Baptist Church. Well, they wouldn't have that if they didn't initiate it and start to go and, you know, inflict their own thoughts and beliefs onto other people. It's just, um, I just don't think it's right. Now, like I said before, if they would just, you know, keep to themselves, believe, um, accept that other people believe other things. And accept that no one's going to basically agree on one certain topic. And then they don't try to force their beliefs on other people. Then I will completely respect them. I guess that's um, my thoughts on that topic.